Well, my name is Daman Sud. I started my career in 1969. I am a graduate or a bachelor, whatever we say, from Films Institute. And now it is a FTII, but a Film Institute of India. I am a gold medalist in sound recording, sound engineering. So from 1969, I am in Bombay only. Started the career in the recording industry. So basically, I am a music engineer. So in my last 43 years career, I have done about 1000 albums, 1000 TV and radio commercials. So and now in my career, I have designed 85 studios. This is Ashra studio, I was the technical head here. I have done project for Sahara studio as a project manager. And apart of that, I have done a lot of live recording, classical, like you know, Lata, Lata Night, Kishore. Uh, Amitabh Bachchan, Kalyan Janaji Night, so all those things I used to do. So, so I have done classical outdoor, big orchestra, I have done in 86 called Hope 86. That was uh, up till now in the history it has never happened. It is like this you know the it was a fundraising program for the poor technicians or musicians for the film industry. In that everybody participated like Lakshmi Kant Bailal, Kalyanji Nanji, Bhappi Larry, Adi Varman. Stage is one, musicians are different, so I, they told me to balance it. It is difficult, but I did it. Then from um, in that period, with 43 years, I have done a lot of albums, 80 albums for Jagjit Singh and Pankaj Udas, I do not know how many, 2025. Classical all artists have done music today, label, you know, all this classical label. I have done about, I think, 250 albums. So, I have done classical, radio, TV, jingle, film, television, Mirza Ghalib I did, Bil Guljar sir. So, it is like a multifaceted full recording, but basic focus was only music recording. The changes in the recording scene, if I see from my gurus or ancestors, it started from 35 mm. So, the to give the history that uh, there was a one title if you see in the old film it is called director of cinematography. Now, director of cinematography and director of audiography. So, there were two people, but today if you see there are six recording engineers, some sound engineers, some music, some song, some track link, some dubbing, some sync recording, you know all those you sing. But in olden time, in 50s, 60s, 70s, I think up to 80s, everything was only one man show. So, he used to record dialogue on the shooting floor, he will do the song, he will do the background, he will do the effects, he will do mixing. So, he was in charge of total soundtrack, like how one man was in charge of the cinematography, director of cinematography, he was the main guy. He may have two, three assistants with him, that is a different thing. So, first was optical recording, that means direct recording was optical. I have, I have not seen those days, but I have worked on optical recording in the 69s and when we got training in Film Institute of India, it was a optical. So, but magnetic already came in 1960s. So, first we used to record on the magnetic 35 mm, maybe 17.5, maybe 16 mm. So, you record on the magnetic medium and from magnetic medium OK takes you transfer it in the optical. So, you are running like moviolas, you know, if you have seen moviolas, stand, stand, stand back, it used to be, you know, editing that there used to be film, there used to be uh, optical track, magnetic track, all those used to run together. So, a man can listen ki how the mixing is happening, you want to change anything, you can change that. So, from there, 35 m came, 35 m this was mono, from mono, the, uh, of course, uh, before Dolby came. It was all mono, song mono, mix, mixing mono. Hardly tracks used to be six, seven, eight tracks. Big to big film, if you see Madhumati, it will have may, maybe eight or ten tracks. If you have more tracks like Shole, then you pre mix it and then do it. By the way, Shole is not done in India, it is done in Twickenham studio in London. And there is other picture called Burning Train that is also done in there. That was 70 mm film, both were 70 mm. Burning uh, Twickenham Studio, London, still it is existing. It is only a mixing studio. 
लाइक इन लंडन देर आर थ्री स्टूडियो पैनवुड स्टूडियो शेपटन स्टूडियो एंड टूक एंड एम स्टूडियो एंड एल स्ट्री स्टूडियो विच इज क्लोज मोर लेस नो सो फ्रॉम देयर ऑप्टिकल मोनो देन थर्टी फाइव मोनो देन थर्टी फाइव थ्री ट्रैक्स बट स्टील मिक्सिंग मोनो लाइक देन सिक्स ट्रैक्स मिस्टर मंगेश डिसाइज टू हैव हु वॉज द मिक्सिंग इंजीनियर हे डील जेल मिन बचली दैट इज स्टीरियो फर्स्ट स्टीरियो एक्चुअली वॉज डन इन इंडिया गॉन टू मी जेलबिन मछली ऑन थर्टी फाइव एम यू यू सी लक्ष्मी कंत पायल वेल म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर सो फ्रॉम नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन आई वॉज इन द फिल्म स्टूडियो इन बॉम्बे साउंड सर्विसेज दैन आई शिफ्ट टू रेडियो स्टूडियो टी वी स्टूडियो दैट वॉज कॉल्ड वेस्टर्न ऑर्डर सो इन वेस्टर्न ऑर्डर आई हैव डन ऑल दिस यश चोपड़ा फिल्म एंड करण जोहर फिल्म यू नो कुछ कुछ होता है Devdas, all those uh, matches, Gupt, everything I did there only. So being a small studio, I had a multi-track. So transition was transition-wise 35 mm. Mm. Then quarter inch came, mm. Nagara, you know, we used to record a Nagara, a dialogue. From Nagara, it was two-track Nagara came, stereo. Mm. Then we used to have stereo machines. Mm. So we used to have radio production, like radio means one language you record Hindi, then you do multiple languages, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Gujarati, you know. well all of all used to do that so from there actually in the film world, if you see in the film world 24 track was the main breakthrough scooter machine which i had i think i have installed it 1994 or something when i was doing dil to dil wale dhun le le jayenge 94 i was recording that that is aditya chopra's first film who is now head of yashraj so after that uh, i brought digital technology in india mm. because it was going very popular so i got a 12 track akai adam machine 12 track digital it was a high end format mm. so i have done a lot of albums on that then 24 track i brought then dolby sr i introduced mm. then from there i introduced uh, you know with video to lock up the analog machine so today it is very easy in 1980s uh, it was a really fancy thing you is have got a commercial and you can uh, record a sound and you can see in the sync you know smpt code used to run so after that then digital technology came then analog came then i brought two track digital machine with mitsubishi x86 all my classical recording which you hear today all all the mixes whether it is a ghazal mixing or it is a film uh, song mixing is done only on that machine that is why you see analog quality is there yes. now of course now pro tool hd system that is the first system i was using in india that was in somewhere i think 2000 okay. so i used to log pro tool with analogs mm. so with smpt code so master the pro tool become and the scooter machine is slave so all these experiments done and all that so this is a nutshell is the technology digital is a switch over which is very good and i think digital uh, technology is very much needed today because the conflicts of creativity conflicts of personality interpretation of the scene interpretation of the mix is very very like you know high first like you know if i mix it everybody say happy go but today you will says i don't want like this music director will say like this arranger will say that th- sound is not coming correctly so everybody has own opinion so to get all the opinion mixed in one is like ichdi so you say something he says something i say something then how can you do something it's impossible so digital technology in a way is very helpful because it saves all the settings you can recall it instantly you can change it like a flying speed and immediately you know you can save you can save tens files of the same song and you choose you can cut and paste wherever you want so that's a digital technology now problem is today city state of the art is music of course is this is a music studio you see analog console everywhere yes. in the world all the music recording is done on the analog why because analog is 100 years old technology it has been perfected to this extent that there is no chance of improving maybe we will improve 0.5% today so it is a it's a it's a completely accomplished technology with digital technology still we are fighting with datas and 
sound and A to D converter, D to A converter. Now the curse of the digital technology is the generation which is using digital technology, they don't know analog, they don't have analog ear. They have never heard a natural instrument. So when you don't hear the natural instrument, how you can, uh, how you can capture? If you don't, as a painter, if you don't have any picture in your head, what you, will be, what you will do? Is it pastel color or you want dark or you want black and white contrast or you want complete earth color, you want green, you know, you have to decide first. Na? So the problem today is because you can change is a cha anything, plug in here, that is there. So there is no, there is no in the sense uh, from the start only, you have no base or foundation to where to start. And once you don't have base, how can the building be made? Now this studio is made, it's such a strong base foundation, the plinth is there. When you structure is you have to make up and up, how you will make if it is shaking? So today what is happening is that, sorry to say about the music which is happening today. Since the question was there, what has happened? The music everybody wants to make. Music is a life according to me. If you don't like music, you, according to me, you don't have life. Because sound is from the very beginning. Now, Bible, when you open the chapter, first chapter of the Bible, which I always quote in my lecture, that God said that let there be light and there was light. So, that means God spoke something and that's the visual came. Today, this medium is called audio visual, not visual audio. Why audio visual? Even you, when you take birth, your father and mother are not seeing you, but still yeah, they hear your cry when you come out of the womb. So, sound is the first. Sound is the faculty which you can never stop. You will never find a silence zone anywhere. Always there is sound. You go to Himalaya, you go to maybe Crave, but still you will find some sound. Where a visual means I can just close it. I may imagine visual, that is imagination power is there. But if I don't want to see visual, I don't want to see. I don't want to see a girl, I look, I don't like. So the sound is a life. If there is no spirit in you, there is no sound. Let us say you have got in your body, you have got a cough and cold. What doctor does? He takes the stethoscope, he touches here, he says breathe, take the back tree. What is listening is the sound which is the your diaphragm, which the lungs are producing. From there only can make it what is the problem in your inside. How much cough you have got inside. So, sound is life. Without sound, you can't communicate. The people who are watching my interview, if you just close, so stop the sound, I am, they, they listen to my lips, they will not understand anything. So, communication medium is audiovisual medium without sound is zero. And because of today's technology, with atmos and all that, what you are listening and a sound, seen up, up just now. Yes. So, what is the, why sound is becoming so prominent? Still we are fighting till today, where this atmos and all that, what is the real sound we are hearing, we cannot get it. Whether you have 48 speakers, whether you have 100 speakers. The early experiment of the Bell laboratory, they say, you have, must have like a curtain of sound if you want, you must have pinpoint speaker, maybe 1000 speakers on this screen then you will get a correct, there is a bell laboratory research. So, anyway this is a science, it is a, it's a very complicated how my human ear hears. So, the thing is today the problem is everybody wants a music director, everybody wants a singer, nobody wants to work hard. And when we had the technology, we have to really work hard, from here it will go there, we connect here, then to have this sound is not correct, this will change the parameter, change this thing. Today we want presets, we want immediate instant coffee results. We do not have patience. In performing arts, if you do not have patience, get out of the art. Today you become director, you may have to wait for 5 years to get a break. So, you have to have patience in any line is like that. So, today if you do not have patience in the art, in the performing art, how can you become? Today a ballet dancer, how much she has to really work to ro rotate on that toe. 
she has to work or not yes any cricketer any footballer how much exercise has to do how much running around has to do so the thing is like this only in the art also we have to devote ourselves we have to do sadhana what do you say give time so today boys basically they don't want to learn music and they want to make music how can you do that you want to become you want to become well, let us say uh film director you must know the all classics what russian classic is what is shakespeare what is william wordsworth you must know more than me i am a technician i don't know so many literature so you must know the history revolution whatever is happening so what i want is i want to copy i see the scene from there i see the scene from there i cut and paste and make a film it may run by fluke but second time it will not run your creativity has to be original ideas you may get inspiration who doesn't get you see by bible says in solomon says king solomon there is nothing new on the earth what is happening 2000 years back still the music notes are same c d g 12 notes are there so what new you are creating is already created the only thing is we may change the sounds so lose sound different now you put a c major on the guitar you put the c major on the violin and you put a c major on the brass it is c major but the sound is different that is what is today is happening today the song recording are people who are trying to make music they are only making combination of sound there is no composition for composition not to think at least 6 6 days 5 days it may click it may not click i'll give you example of the old music director with our work mr op nayar <coughs> he used to take a film he will not take a second film that film only story is thinking day and night so suppose there are six songs or seven song he is thinking this song should be like this this song should be in this rag so he is thinking so 3 months he is concentrating on one film 3 months 4 months you should tell me unless i complete this film i cannot think another film right is like this i start a painting it may take me 3 months 6 months 8 months doesn't matter but some people have got different style let us say mf hussain i met him here only yesterday his way of thinking was this he will start a this painting today he will do that basic sketch now he is why is not doing because he is not understood the final formation fi- final how i'll do going to do it he will start he'll forget he will start after one week another painting like this then we start third then after two months again he'll come back he start thinking what i did is it right or not then he will start doing that so what is happening now is going to second level like primary secondary level then he will leave it there then go to there that multi multitasking brain it you can do that there is no problem but according to me in the creative art film making and all that take one project and to finish it together so you know from the beginning to end ki exactly how i am going to web this together knit it together as a is a visual communication medium i may sound like a director in the way i am speaking but this is very important for a technician to understand so today if you ask anybody he just want to jump here and there he says whatever sound like i like now i will give you a example of rap singer where he was very famous rap singer baba sagil hmm. 15 years back i met him i told him okay you are very good the thanda thanda pani was his uh, hit song that time out i told him baba you make a learn music make a your brain is very good without learning music you can do such a good song so if you learn music you can do much better you know what he told me i don't need want to learn music because i just play this play the which i like i do it tell me how can you make music like that with the result what happened he was there instantly peak was there 3 years finish but if he had done the training proper training he could have lived like a long life you understand like let's talk this lata ji still living 
Ashar is still living, right? They are legends in their uh, 60, 70 years career. And till they are singing and the song becomes super hit. They don't want to sing, but people made them sing. John William Carrier, you see, when he started till today, he has done so many films. So why these people, the career has stayed for a longer time. All our music directors, Shankar Jayakrishnan, Kalyanji Nanji, R.D. Burman, all, let's see this Bapilari, Ula Lula Lula, this one song, you have done it, na? So how these people, old people, even if they are old, they are still existing. Because basically from the ground level here, they are very perfect. Their theory of music, Ragdari, learning has been pro properly grounded. That's why they, they can still work it. That is the reason. But today what you want, you want immediately result. So with the result, you may get result, people may like it and after that three, four months sound dies. In the mostly if you see the songs are only in the parties, right? Mm. Yeah, and if you see all the parties, there are 20 songs which is all in different different time period it has happened. Right or not? If you go Karan Jorka picture ka ka, Gupta ka ka koi. I let me tell you, Laila Laila song, mm. 1977 I recorded that, Kurbani. Yeah. They are still playing in that disco. Yeah. In 1977, when I was young like you, and till today that melody, why this melody is good, easy to easy to sing. A song will be always hit when easy to sing, any song you take. When it is too complicated, a man will start singing and stop. It does not become popular. If a child can sing, you know, avara hu, who cannot sing, avara hu, bacha bhegaega. Dhoom bacha de, dhoom bacha bhegaega. There is a dhoom is, dhoom bacha aya hua. And third, will, they say it is going to be fantastic the way it is, they are doing it up. So, the music making is you should learn music in classroom. One year, two years, three years, according to me, five years. Any career in creative art, you should give five years. Give complete devotion. Go deep into that and try to invent something new which you like. If you start copy paste, na, you look up, you are a computer. In olden time, people when they do not have computer and all that, they used to write a letter, love letter, tear it off, then write again. Ah, now it is, but it is not good, it should not like it, now write again. When you write, when you use this hand and fingers, right? Yes. If I put in the auto focus this, why need a focus puller? Focus puller, why you need, you know focus puller, no? yes. you can also put auto, auto sensing puller. something. What you do in hand, with hand, no? that is the very important thing. When you move the hand, filter with the hands, in the sound, it gives you feeling of doing something. Suppose I am going, ah, fading, I am swinging that, my body action is there, so my senses are also enjoying. Same thing I will do with a computer, fading like that, okay, two seconds, four seconds, this curve, that curve. I have done all these things, but still I hate, these things are only ke when you want very precise, in 3 seconds I want the fade in to come to 6 dB, that is okay. Or I cannot remove with my hand some noise, which is very instant, so I can you know, mark here, mark here, delete it, cross fade it, whatever is there. So technology has to be used, which you cannot do humanly, understand? What we do today is, I will play a bass, then I will do it, I will enter rest, I will do it, what is this? Your attitude is wrong. According to me, if you are a singer, you must sing in tune. It is like this, you play out of tempo, you say, oh, tempo do it later. Can any musician be like that? Can any singer be like that? Even in the recording, let us say when you are a cameraman, you will first compose lens 35, 85, 170, which light you want, back light, you want to show only black character in front. All these things will think as a, as a director and the cameraman will also think 
you have thought it and then you try to strive it what we think and what we try to strive it is next to impossible to 100% to achieve but at least you have to you have thought something sometime you think but when you try it it become better also right because you get the idea that this this technology can do this way also are why i should not use it so the gist is that technology should be used as a creativity not as a complacency you know a sust baith jane ka apne computer will do it na technology see what is computer computer is artificial intelligence if it is artificial some natural intelligence is needed not to use that if you don't have natural intelligence creativity input so creativity cannot cannot be taught it can be inspired it can be learned by mistakes or seeing others there are two three ways of listening as like learning anything either i do so lot of mistakes and learn other i learn from somebody's mistakes correct yes. and the third one is i don't want to make mistakes i first become professional then i will start my career today stage is like third stage everybody wants trained technician everybody want trained sound engineers editors nobody wants today you start to you say no i want to learn sound recording please uh, allow me to this thing i said no no everybody wants trained person nobody got patience today to train somebody and make out of him all my ancestors and engineers they were all chai wala they were not trained very few were trained robin chatterjee was trained on this thing otherwise mangesh desai he was assistant mr b n sharma he was assistant only mr robin chatterjee who was the jp koshik also like this sync recording started slowly slowly actually at first the american used to come from rca they used to train our technicians they were all foreigners and they were assistant looking at him was they don't know anything theory uh, it is a plug in here take out plug in there see the light should come here do like this this is how they used to learn that basically means there is no theory it's only operation if i change something i don't know how to handle it is like this you work on uh, uh, any system let's say niando i am you are seeing me how am i using niando next day i switch over to logic you don't know what the damn thing is happening because you, what i am doing what how it is happening nothing why because you don't have basic concept of the daw so the thing is today music even if it is made well is not selling that person who is who is the composer na no? here there he was telling the same thing there is no income first thing is the competition so much you don't get money from the start so you don't get enough money so even if you make a hit you are not getting and nobody buying a cd only everybody downloading from the internet which is also illegal so how how this technology will happen everything will be on your this you will see when you are in the bus you in the train you are in the tra- in the car in the airport uh, waiting for flight is one hour late just put the headphone go to the uh, just looking at it this is the technology is going to become so it is everything is in the ipad iphone whatever it is that is that that is the end of the world actually according to me so no tv no fiber one system pack up everything this is all your this thing buy a nice headphone and you're watching with the retina display retina correction whatever you say a picture damn good when i look at the ipad today the picture quality i am surprised if hd is there so good even my this is not hd the picture is good so but the thing is you are using time of travel in looking at the episode which you learn and that is bound to happen through the internet now 3g has come 4g is already coming 5a 5g is already in development right in israel yeah. so if the 5g will come can you imagine the how fast the world will become you may have two mobile acha uh, yes very good ये नहीं ऐसे ऐसे जो टू टू मोबाइल चल रहे हैं स्टीरो पे चल रहे हैं 
you can do like that also so the thing is what is my moral today to say is young generation should be patient number 1 second thing they should learn in classroom whatever trade they want to be patient learn give time to your career is say is called gestation period you know the child doesn't come out within one month two months the child comes after nine months it's a natural phenomenon today you grow a mango tree it will give you fruit after 10 years you can't expect in one year for a word mango right so this is a natural process which you see in the nature so for our career also we like this so nobody want to be assistant everybody wants to be independent everybody wants to be creative everybody wants to be i don't say you cannot be exceptions are always there but general procedure is to learn from different different people like for example i'll give you satyajit ray is very much reverend in our industry right late satyajit ray now tinu anand who is a director now i have seen him he was assistant of satyajit ray and when i was in the film institute of india 1968 68 he made the first bengali color film bhaga vain something gopi or something bhaga in magic magic gopi it gayan, gopi gayan bhaga vain right he brought that film to show us first uh, film on the color film correct or not so he was assistant he learned cinema from him but he became commercial cinema uh, commercial right but still cinema sense was there na I always say you should always work with senior person for four or five years, learn the trade, then become independent. Like in Yashraj, there are so many boys who was who were assistant to Kunal Kohli. I his name is Siddharth something. He made two films with Yashraj, and they were both very done very well. So he was trained under Kunal Kohli, who made this Mujhse Dosti Karoge, Fana. Mujhse Dosti Tere Ko Nahi Aaye Dan. so mujhse dosti karoge after he was their assistant to him right even neel mukesh who's actor he was assistant only so even if you want to become actor doesn't matter but at least go into the film process how the film is made what is actor responsibility how actor can perform seeing the senior actors see you are a south career eh yeah? you are charanjeevi charanjeevi na eh yeah? such a famous actor mohan lal in kerala right and in the south anti rama rao apna other one who used to wear cap na ramachandran jayalalita husband m g rao see how many years career they had even though they were fat still people used to like them jamni ganeshan right right and you see their performance young and you see their performance when they were growing little old and old old And still, they were uh, doing very good acting. According to me, why they were successful is, it's not that they didn't have competition. One track mind. Today, na director will be more on the mobile than on the than on the script. I am thinking of some shot. I am thinking of some scene. All of a sudden, mobile comes. My whole thought process break, breaks. Correct or not? Creativity is a flow. Creativity is like a water, like going up and down. Then you go little deep, then little deep, little deep. Like like you, as you are thinking, na you come to a different level of creativity, right? Now, if I get disturbed. Then again, I have to start. Then I forgot from where I started because that spark came like that and vanished. It's a curse, according to me. Let us say, suppose you want to meet Spin Spielberg. Do you mean to say you can contact him on the mobile? Of course not. He doesn't keep mobile only. Wow. Why he needs mobile? For what purpose? He is a good assistant, secretary. They are handling it. Second thing, he is interested in calling his family. 
हिज वाइफ इज कॉलिंग यू मस्ट टॉक वो सुबह बात करके आया ना इधर क्या होता है सुबह बात नहीं कर लड़ाई झगड़ा करके आएगा तो पता शूटिंग में आया तो वाइफ उसके साथ यू नो ट्राइंग टू पैच अप विद द हस्बैंड यू नो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द क्रिएटिव पर्सन शुड हैव अ गुड होम इफ योर होम इज नॉट गुड ना योर पेरेंट्स योर वाइफ योर चिल्ड्रन You are finished. You will drink it and smoke and finish your life, right? I don't want to quote an example, but I have seen it one. So that means your partner should uh, what we call sacrifice something for you. That is, say you are a great actor. You married a heroine, right? You have to sacrifice as a heroine your career for the husband. No, if it doesn't happen, then See the examples around. I don't want to quote. Same with the technician. I have seen so many technicians. They get married after one year divorce, right? Why? Question is what? You cannot kill yourself. See first when see let us when you make a career. When you are making career as a bachelor, your whole thing is to prove yourself you are good, right? But once you are proved good, na, and you got married, you have to. That is your responsibility also, na. Then what happens? We still behave. I still have to prove better. So we work eighteen hours. There is nobody at home. She will talk to walls or what? A woman is a human being. You are a human being. You are busy because you like that. What about her? Otherwise, she should be assistant to you. Then both you work together sixteen hours a day. Correct or not? Which career you are adapting? Advertising, uh, party, advertising line. So the thing is like this: see, responsibility is there, and because of this, now what is the new concept in young boys and girls? To a living relationship. ठीक है? वो living खत्म हो गया. Then after that, what happened? You don't want to get married. She doesn't want to get married. That means new technician will not come, a new director will not come. The whole process is wrong. You understand what I'm talking? In the olden time, also people used to get married. There were all these things, but unfortunately, according to my, I I know so many directors and their you know children, they're my friend. They never had a good family life. so with the result is completely ruined music director director actor sound mein itna jyada nahi cinematography mein hai thoda so andrew and me from 1993 we know each other hmm. andrew loves india he loves indian music hmm. and if you listen to his album he has done bombay dub two album third one he has done if you listen to his album Don't pirate. Buy a CD. <laughs> you you are not in a what you call in favor that we should have piracy, no? Right? No. I will never buy a book. I will never Xerox it. I'll buy always a book. My attitude is: if you have worked for a book for one year, if you are earning on that book five dollar, it is it is your right to earn five dollar. If the book is thirty dollar, right? Mm. Especially education books. Now all you must be. Uh, using so many technical books, you should always buy the original book of the author. First thing is, you should have a. You feel proud to have a original book. Where I learned, Britishers people not like that. I was doing a course in 1983, advanced recording course in in Surrey University. It's called Association of Professional Recording Studio course for two weeks. That's for the people who are already professionals. they want to learn much better trade of professionalism so i was in sir university and they gave me and all the people who were teacher somebody is from lansdowne studio he still living you know lansdowne studio yes, on, on that one yeah, ct studio yeah they were great studios 
क्लाइव ग्रीन हु वॉज मैनुफैक्चर ऑफ द कंसोल ऑल दिस टॉप नॉच पिक्चर पीपल यूज टू कम एंड टीच अस दे गिव अस द बुक स्टूडियो रिकॉर्डिंग आर्ट्स समथिंग लाइक दैट बाय ऑक्सफोर्ड ओरिजिनल बुक दे गिव अस यू स्टिल हैव इट या आई गिव द लाइब्रेरी बट आई गॉट सेकंड एडिशन न्यू एडिशन आई गिव टू एएस लाइब्रेरी ओके सो द थिंग इज दैट एंड्रू नो दे आर कमिंग फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट थिंग इज दे नो द टेक्नोलॉजी बेटर देन अस लाइक दे डोंट नो रागास बेटर देन अस but we don't also don't know the western music better than them right yes. is fact na so what they are trying to do is all you boys are very much fascinated with western music so they are trying to promote and teach ki yeah, oh well you want to do this but this is a way to do it that is why you see all the senior engineers have from abbey road and composer has come what is the name composer ilan ilan, ilan has come right yeah. so the why he has brought it spending so much money so basically it's a initiative for mandru that a, a young generation should be taught in a proper way now that girl is from canada she has done she is done from somewhere like everybody done the lawyer son is from learn from daddy right shan but when you listen to the same here they have given picture to the same same picture you go listen the music what they compose for the same now you will automatically know yourself even if you are not a professional the person who has learnt his thinking of sound and music is better what well, i think you know the education of of um of orchestral music or theory is really important and uh, i always say you can't break rules unless you know the rules so what are the rules you know then you know everyone can do different things but there's a certain element of uh, harmony and orchestration which is very you know unique to the western to western side of things you know it's not a natural thing for india so how do you expect everyone to be able to do that really? but if you want to then you've got to go and learn when i first started doing music in india i didn't know much about rags and things so i worked with people who did so i could mute it's work together and understand about it and merge what i did with them so then we've now got a distinct style for bombay dub orchestra which is now one knows that oh that's mixing rags with this and i remember i did did one piece i had a a rag that would only be in the morning and one in the evening and they said you can't do that but when they heard it they were like wow one went major one went minor you know it was like you know it was it was that they would never even try it here but because i was trying to experiment in a way that i wasn't sticking to the rules you know it was but it, it actually i was really scared what people would say i remember um i think it was sunil das the sitar Sunil-Dasi, player Sunil-Dasi. and he was like wow we'd never have thought of doing that you know so i was being a bit naughty he with the indian you know <laughs> scales and rags but but underneath that i was doing harmonies major sevens minor ninths things that very natural to the west but for here i remember when i first started doing my first string sessions where i was doing big harmonic changes they would come up to me afterwards and say what's that what's that So there's you you know and I think with this lab is trying to inspire you know take people that have a potential and you can work with potential and I think all of these composers have great potential wow. they've got great potential they're really good at writing now they've got to learn the craft of scoring for film when this happens what's the you know what's the arc of the story not when someone turns their head and you get a shock you get you know and some stands up and the harp does a little glissando you know it's like so you know and if we and have space 5 minutes of no music 10 minutes of no music you know this is this is be brave so when the music comes in it's like oh my goodness that is so incredible people say um music should just be in the background but actually if music's there it should be there for a reason so it makes a statement that is relevant to the film and one of the things i've been saying to everyone is that when you're writing music on its own with no picture you're just hearing 100% music but when you put the picture there there's acting there's dialogue there's lighting yeah, yeah. there's all these different things how much space is there for music here you know in the mentality not you know because bollywood is a genre under itself but how it's been is throw everything in you know so then it's there's no space i think the western mentality and independent cinema here is changing a lot i think but is to have space let what happens let the actors be great actors and actually do their lines without playing sad music against a sad scene you don't have to second guess you don't have to 
you know, double what's happening on the screen. So it's just a mindset and it's a, it's a learning process. I'm learning stuff. I've learned so much from this myself, mm. seriously. Just listen to Arantxa Barat talk and Amit Trivedi, who I work with, yes. and Ilan. Amazing, you know, really amazing. I first worked with, uh, with Damanji, I think actually 98 was my first session. And um, I came to India quite nervous about, about the whole process. But I, I think after two minutes, knowing Damanji's experience and ability, I was just put at ease. And after that, I didn't want to work with anyone else. And even I think he was sort of threatening retirement. And I said, you've got to come to the studio. We need you there. <laughs> and I think one of the great things about uh, Daman is that when we've been recording soloists, like a sitar or something, and the, the engineer or the assistant engineer has set the mics, he'll say, stop, stop the recording. And he'll go into the studio, move the microphone this much. But the difference, you know, I've never met anyone who knows every instrument where the best sound is, where you put the mic, mic positioning. So you just get a pure, fantastic sound of what you would hear in real life, but on, in, in recording. So, so I think, you know, the, the, the sound engineer has to, he's got to, you, you've got to be friends. You've got to, you know, it's a re relationship. Right. I think when someone, and, and you know, you're dealing with people every day, different people come in, composers, music directors, musicians, and everyone's different, aren't they? So right. it's, but you've got to, for you, they, the engineer has to adapt. Yeah, you have to mold it. To mold yourself to that person, what do they want? And it's a big responsibility because they've got to be, make sure that what that composer once he's going to be recorded properly. And uh, I, for, for, with, with working with Damanji, there's never ever been an issue with that. It's just been a, you know, I was referred to Daman as the, the George Martin of India. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's inspired so many people and he continues to do so. And I think that is, you know, that is, is wonderful. So I, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's an important relationship, even working at Yashraj with Shantanu. Shantanu came up through uh, Empire and first worked um, with Shantanu um, after meeting through, yeah, you know, with the Dhamma. Yeah. yeah, so um, I must say, though, the engineers in India, fantastic. Really, the abilities are incredible. Pro Tools editing, I mean, I'm doing string sessions, and it's already edited. I'm saying, can you do... Oh, you've done it. Could I just... Cop oh, you've done it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. the speed, and this is much better than... Yeah, yeah. Faster than England. Because their speed, so they're trained to do that so well. So I've never really ever seen any mishap. I've had stories of, of England with a multi-track where the assistant engineer, David Bowie, is recording. He's done a fantastic vocal take. Can I hear it back? And it's like, <laughs> didn't record. <laughs> you just might as well just say, okay, I'm going to just die, you know. <laughs> but it's, uh, no, it, it's a big responsibility. You know, you've got the whole orchestra there, music director, producer, director, the engineer has to make that work. I have no fear here with the assistant engineer, the assistant assistant engineer, they're all fantastic. And pretty much all studios I've worked in in India, that's been the case. So I think whoever's inspiring and training them up is doing a damn good job. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.